ok now ok so you might find this a little different <laughs> I just finished recording a video this code review but for some reason OBS just catch in like 10 minutes of 40 minutes that was the length of the code review with sound okay so yeah I explain all this uh, well let's explain it again <laughs> so I guess yeah shit happens okay I even explain all this saved and messages and things like that so let's try to make to make it a little faster this time so what we have here we have with all mutations, mutations okay let's go back here and let's try to make this okay i'm trying to take my time but it's late so okay okay remember that we use query to call the queries okay we import the query from the Apollo but in this case we need mutation we need to call a mutation and we import mutation from the Apollo we do the same using the GQL that we used uh, in the past but in this case we just add mutation in front of everything else okay we give a name okay let's go back to the code we give a name to the mutation that is usually just a capitalized uh, name that is the same but just capitalized than your um, mutation the mutation you have okay here remember it should match everything here so no that's not it okay Uh, you need to pass the variables okay in this case we're saying this variable name and this variable description and both going to be strings we pass these values here these variables okay to the actual uh, mutation don't mind this one yet i will explain that uh, don't mind this to right now okay so we return this mutation from the graphql component and we call this um, this mutation using the add post constant that is guess what is the mutation we are going to send okay don't mind this update this is the reason why we are getting this error okay but don't mind it yet okay you need this um, function here okay this is expected a function the first parameter is a function there's another parameter that is the data like they show on their um, example but we don't need this okay so We need to pass this function. This function is going to tell GraphQL that you are going to send a mutation. Okay? And here on the on submit, we need this event because we need to prevent the default uh, behavior on the submit button. And we handle the submit. And here with, on this function, we are going to send this object that is the variables object and is going to refer to this name this description okay that are matching what we have on the mutation name and description okay and that's not it okay so we actually need this name value and this test value where are those coming from from references 
on this input type name and this text area that are this one and this one okay so we need to make we need to make those references and those um, are the variables that are up here and we can then access the value from those variables okay that are this input in this text area okay so that's the mutation in a nutshell <laughs> Let's recap a little bit. Return the mutation element with a mutation um, attribute that is the mutation you're going to make. Okay? You don't need this cache. Okay? Let me say this. You don't need this cache to make this work. But you will see uh, something funny that, that is happening with this. Okay? And you return, I mean, in this case, we're um, returning a form. That form is going to have an on submit. Okay, we prevent the default submission uh, behavior. And we pass this handle submit that is the same as this function. Okay, but we are going to pass the mutation variables. Okay, which are coming from the input and description okay so let's take a look at how it works let's refresh this thing again <sighs> uh, let's try I'm so in trouble because I said I was talking <laughs> explaining everything in depth or trying to but the sound and no, didn't record. So, well, let's hope it doesn't happen again. So, okay. The last post we have is post 12. Let's go to all posts. Okay. You can see that it's still having this. We need to refresh. And we have. All information. Okay, let's hit mutation. Mutation. Let's go mutation two. Mutation to description. Let's hit send. Okay. Remember that update function that I uh, was talking about before. This update function. Okay. What is this actually doing? This actually is trying to update the cache that is returning and it is going to be returned from GraphQL. Okay. We send this data that in this case is our information. Okay. I have this link here in case you want to take a look at it. As I said, um, GitHub. Apollo GraphQL, Apollo Client Issue 1701 for those who are trying to update the cache after a mutation and I should add um, on another route okay so let's go to mutation 3 mutation 3 so it should trigger the error nice Uh, I play this, this post uh, later. Error can find field name on object require posts. Okay. Sure. You can even see the changes on this, but maybe you can get what are these two things uh, right now. So, oh, but let's go back to posts and holding off. We saved our information. Even GraphQL told us we have that information saved. If you can't remember that, 
que here on the GraphQL API or GraphQL server we're managing this save if we are able to save we're going to return a console log okay, message with the word saved okay in case we are not able we're just going to return an error so that is the these two saved um, messages that are we getting so no this not this is not it let's go back okay so to the odd part what is this and why we are getting this error first we got these warnings missing field name in six missing field name in six uh, missing field ID in six missing field description in six and missing field description I mean description and name in six okay and it's happening on this root query so let's take a look remember these two posts posts with an array of five and this post with nothing with an object those are this root query okay so what is going on what is going on is that um, when you try to update you will get an instance of the cache okay and you will pass your information and in this case here you will try to read that in the information you just passed in the in the form okay inside that cache sometimes you will get the information and some other times you will not okay why because when you do a uh, mutation sometimes the cache and your um, application get out of sync okay Mm -hmm. So this is the update function. Let me try to explain this one. <laughs> we, pass the, we pass the cache, the data. So this is the, the handle submit. Remember that is this function that we are going to pass that is making the actual mutation. We pass that as the data. Okay. I'm just considering the root query right now after we make that and i'm going to check if we have the root query we're going to find that post inside this root query and read the cache read the query okay if we can find this then we're going to type it okay then uh, we're going to write that query to get post we're going to try to push the information we have okay that is the way uh, to update the cache but you may think if you are getting an error and if you're not getting an array maybe you're not getting you're not saving the data okay you can explain that just refresh and we are getting the data the data is being written to the database i mean it's being stored so there is a uh, no problem there this error is not telling you that uh, the data was not saved it's just telling you it's just telling you that the cache at this very moment cannot be updated or wasn't updated the information you are asking to push okay and it's just not there okay but how you can fix that or, or yeah how can you fix it how can you fix that to simply manage all your mutations on the same okay component but you may say but I don't want to okay what's the other 
thing you can do remove the update don't try to update here but another question you may ask is then how can I update if you tell me the cache is not being updated how or well yeah how can I update that cache if I want to show my users that I have that information okay let's add mutation 6 since I think we don't okay, mutation 3 <coughs> mutation 6 should be there and okay we have this again we receive all the posts I can click it. okay we receive all the the cache information let's say mutation 7 after that that error is being triggered uh, or triggered mutation 7 they are okay so, okay, we got the same error. Let's go back to MLAB. Remember that is mutation, mutation 6 and mutation 7. Okay, mutation 6 was a store, mutation 7 was a store. Mutation and mutation. mutation. <laughs> so, is this being updated in the cache? Yes. But what is going on? When you change the routes, okay, when you go back from this route to the main route that makes uh, the main query, there are a lot of mains there. Uh, when you come back to this client, GraphQL client that is making this query, this query is updating the cache. Okay, this query is is um, making or is retrieving all the information you have stored so as I, as I said you don't need this update okay right now at least on this a demo you don't need this update or at least in this scenario okay because every time your user comes back to all posts they will see um, the post they just added okay So as I said, one thing is that you could just um, keep that update function there, but keep all your components and all your GraphQL on the same component. <coughs> yeah. So you will be able to call even though even though <coughs> I changed. I mean, I added. This get posts here and is actually trying to make that request. Okay, but it just cannot because we're not making the query here. Okay, you might need to add another query inside here. Okay, the way I see it, you will change this mutation to be on top of this. Okay, surround everything with a ref framing and to have that there, limitation the there. That way you will get this update every time, or you should be able to get an update every time. But remember, uh, you will still be able to update your database. You will still be able to get information stored. In this case, in this uh, application, you just need to go back to all posts, okay? That will refresh the cache because it will make the call to all the posts and just go back 
when you want to add another another post. So okay, I try to reduce that. Um, we are on twenty minutes. So let's see if I can find something else. This is a GraphQL. I don't need GraphQL. Is it um so GraphQL climitation? And yeah, I think that's it. I mean, if the video was a little fast and and the explanation was a little short, or, or you felt like I was rushing, I'm sorry, but you know it's late and I mean I just recorded a 42 minutes long video without the audio. Okay, <laughs> I was I was talking, I was trying to explain everything. But if you want to learn a little more about the book, just go to this page https github.com Apollo GraphQL Apollo Client Issues 1701. And you will find this little explanation. That is it's fine. I mean, it tells you uh, what is going on. But as I said, in this case, you just need to go back to all posts. It will refresh all the cache. Go to redirect here, it will uh, refresh all the cache. Then you can go back to mutate. After here, you will get the missing. Um, but that should not return or trigger an error. But this is just an, an GraphQL cache error that is not going to affect your application. No, in a meaningful way. I mean, it's not going to crash. It's not going to um, stop working. It's not. It's just not going to update the cache. But it will be updated once you come back to all posts. Okay. So I think that's it. Let me close this. I think that's it. And um, if you have uh, doubts or you know just uh, write them on the comments and let me know so that's it and see you on the next one